Please welcome to the stage His Excellency Kenichiro Sasaye, the Ambassador of Japan. And while the festival encompasses the entire capital region, it celebrates the gift of trees to the city of Washington. Please join me as we also welcome Honorable Muriel Bowser, Mayor of the District of Columbia. everybody. I am honored to welcome you to Washington, D.C. in the beautiful Warner Theater. And on behalf of all 680,000 of us that call Washington, D.C. home, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2017 National Cherry Blossom Festival. I am thrilled today to be joined on the stage by Ambassador Sessai, and I am so grateful for his friendship to the residents of the District of Columbia. We are very happy in the district that spring has officially arrived and that our cherry blossoms are blooming. Uh, and uh, we are, you know, had the opportunity to drive around a little bit before I arrived. And I told the ambassador, some people doubted it, but we know we have some tough old trees. <laughs> and uh, we celebrate with the people of Japan and show great appreciation for the wonderful gift uh, that they bestowed upon us 105 years ago. And as mayor of DC, I am especially thankful to share this legacy and to extend this legacy. As you go through the neighborhoods of Washington, you will see cherry blossom trees all across the district's eight wards. The blossoms bring people from across the region and indeed from across the world. Last year, we welcomed 1.5 million people for the festival, and we expect just as many this year. I like to thank the many organizers, sponsors, and partners who helped to arrange tonight's great lineup and all of the events for the festival. And thanks so much to you all for coming to join us this evening, and I hope that you will take advantage of the entire festival. We hope that this will be a wonderful time. And uh, it brings me great pleasure uh, to introduce you to my friend, the ambassador from Japan. Mayor Bowser, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. And thank you for inviting me to be a part of this opening celebration. I read that when uh, <clears throat> Prime Minister Trudeau of Canada uh, visited Washington last year, he presented 150 maple trees to the United States. <laughs> uh, nice try. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, but you know, uh, the cherry trees have a hundred year head start over those maples, <laughs> you know. Besides, you know, which uh, would you rather be, a cherry blossom princess or a maple sap princess, you know? <laughs> Not even close, you know. Uh, I hope there is a, no Canadian audience tonight. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the Washington people of Washington uh, have taken the cherry tree into their heart and wholeheartedly welcome Japan's gift of all those years ago. And today, the National Cherry Blossom Festival is the biggest, I would say, the biggest celebration of Japan-US friendship in the United States. I'm proud of it. Actually, this is my fifth spring in D.C. People might be thinking, where, when I'm leaving? <laughs> but I'm not leaving yet. <laughs> That's good, possibly. Yeah. 
And if you think I'm getting homesick for Japan, you would be wrong. <laughs> because you know every spring, uh, the, this national cherry blossom festival brings Japan to Washington, D.C. And a few years ago, I wrote a haiku poem about the traffic congestion that the cherry blossom <laughs> caused. Some of you might remember. <laughs> you know, uh, after that, I received so many comments <laughs> that I decided to write one this year about the cherry blossoms damaged by the ice and frigid uh, <laughs> temperatures and so forth. So I tried and actually wrote on that line. But my wife told me my hug poems are too literal and prosaic. <laughs> uh, but here goes. This is a, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, this is a pretty good one, possibly improvement. <laughs> here you go, so you listen. Eaglet, you know eaglet, right? Eaglet hatched in snow, blossomed with stood winter's chill, two nations rebirth. What do you think? <laughs> Good. I could be a professional haiku writer. After I leave this job, I would do it. <laughs> but anyway, Diana and the staff and volunteers of the festival have all kinds of wonderful things planned, uh, starting with tonight. A lot of Japanese businesses are supporting the festival, particularly ANA. Japanese companies all over the country give back to their co communities. Not just by providing jobs, uh, but by sharing Japan's culture and spirit. And I thank them. Uh, this is the 90th anniversary of the first Cherry Blossom Festival, and I know it is going to be the best year. Thank you all and welcome to spring. Ladies and gentlemen, the ambassador from Japan, Ambassador Sasai, and a haiku writer. And now I am honored to join the ambassador in a friendship moment. And I think we're going to move this way. 